How is everything been working so far? Everything's been normal as usual, boss. And what about the people who failed their interviews? They've all been dealt with accordingly. Perfect. I have no use for useless people in my factory. Understood. Your vision is as clear as ever, boss. Hmm. And what about that new intern we hired two weeks ago? How are they doing? I'm glad you brought that up, boss. Thanks to them, we've been producing color at an astronomically fast rate. Even though we've had these machines for years, it seems like everything's brand new thanks to them. Oh, I've never heard you compliment someone before, so it must be true. Then what about those reporters? It's under investigation as we speak, thanks to you assigning that problem to the red team. I can't believe I'm wasting the red team on something so trivial. Why are people so curious about my factory? It's not like I'm interested in making famous people into colors. Though, I would like to see if they would make something nice. But I doubt they would. Celebrities are all tainted. They are only out for one thing, and it's money. Not only are they tainted, but their fan bases are as well. They form parasocial relationships. But, enough about that topic. What do I have to do for today? Let's see. It says here that you have to go- So darling, I'm sorry for budging in at a bad time, but something important came up. What's so important that you had to interrupt? The new intern that we hired two weeks ago, they... They killed someone. Why is that such a big deal? We do that every day here. Because the person they killed was a spy. Oh my. Who was it? Matthew, the person who's been working here for five years. Take me to them. I can't believe they're dead. Did that intern really kill them? Why would they kill Matthew? He never did anything wrong. I don't believe the intern when they said that he was a spy. Mr. Darling won't be happy about this. As a janitor, all I care about is the cleanup I'll have to do. Mr. Mr. Darling, Darling, welcome. Everyone back to their usual duties, except for the intern. Yes, yes, sir. Killing a member of my facility. I can't tell if you're brave or stupid. You say that, but I can tell you don't actually care about the situation you're in. Hmm. So you actually read all those rules? All 235 of them? I gotta say, I'm impressed. Most interns, if we ever are lucky to have any, don't even bother reading them. And they go missing. But the thing I'm most interested in is how you knew they were a spy and why'd you kill them? The only way you knew information about my facility was getting out is if A, you hacked into my computer, or B, you were personally listening in onto my conversations that were private. I guess you being able to hack into anything you'd like is normal. You are an engineer after all. But the fact you managed to avoid my gaze just long enough to read up on what you needed to know, that's impressive. So, now that you know my secret and what I'm trying to hide from reporters into the public eye, what are you gonna do? You are only here for an internship, and guessing by what you do in your average life, it'd be hard to kill you and cover it up. To give you a real job, that's easy, but for you to be my personal assistant, why? That's it? Just money? Well, my personal assistant does make five dollars extra than the usual worker, so I guess that's fair. 
But how can I trust you won't go blabbering about what you've learned today? What are you doing with that? What the? Are you psychotic? Why the hell did you just cut off your own ear? It grew... It grew back. You're fucking creepy, man. Huh, alright. It seems we both got what we wanted from the situation. Before your shift ends, make sure you send me a 10-page report on what you did and how you learned about Matthew being the spy leading up to his death. Other than that, your job today. I'll be expecting more from you in the future.